Ragnar experience for the first pilot phase. Everybody unite together and we'll try to make the project go good. The Nariva Swamp, Trinidad and Tobago's largest and most diverse wetland. Spanning just over 15,000 acres of swamp and mangrove forest, Nariva Swamp contributes to the rich biodiversity of our country's wildlife. It provides a habitat for hundreds of species of plant and animal wildlife, such as the fascinating howler monkey. Over the years, the sustainability of this sensitive and rich ecosystem has been threatened by illegal rice farming. As a result, the swamp has become more vulnerable to forest fires, causing the varied species of indigenous flora and fauna to be displaced from their home. Essentially, nothing has regrown on its own. There are no, no trees in the area that's deforested, which is about 1,500 hectares in extent. Um, the hydrology of the swamp had been modified by the rice farmers. Essentially, they dug channels um, to try and drain off part of the swamp to get more dry land to plant. In doing that, they inadvertently increased the greenhouse gas emissions from the swamp. This is where the Nariva Swamp Reforestation and Carbon Sequestration Project takes center stage. Funded in part by a grant from the World Bank, this project seeks to help return Nariva Swamp to its former glory. This project is meant to restore the area, but to do it through a partnership arrangement. And the partnership arrangement is between the Environmental Management Authority, the community groups within the Nariva Swamp area, the Ministry of Housing, Planning and the Environment, and the Forestry Division of the Ministry of Agriculture. So the intent really is to engage in a project which will ultimately see to the restoration of 1,300 hectares um, of, of forest, ultimately leading to 1,300 hectares of forested area within the Nariva Swamp. This reforestation activity is being done primarily by members of the communities of Plum Mita and Kernahan, who have warmly embraced to help restore the swamp. Getting involved in the project was one of the things that the group always looked forward to because we have heard about the project coming on stream a little while now, right? And um, we always look forward to being there because this is what the group is all about, conserving the environment. The Forestry Division of the Ministry of Agriculture is a major partner in this project, supporting the efforts of the local residents. Tree planting is, is not a simple matter of digging a, a hole in the ground and sticking a, 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 a seedling in that hole. They are, various factors that need to be carefully considered. So this is one of the key areas in which we would have worked with the community and, and did actual field training of what it is involved in a, trying to get a successful reforestation with. The second objective of this initiative is quite interesting. It's the carbon sequestration element. Carbon sequestration is effectively uh, capturing carbon through the process of photosynthesis. When these plants grow into big trees, what will happen is that carbon dioxide, which is utilized in photosynthesis, will be captured through that process and therefore removed from the atmosphere. The carbon could be sold. The returns could then be channeled back to the communities in order to pay for their efforts to continue to reforest. As an initiative for carbon sequestration, this project is being viewed by some in the international financial community as an innovative move that can trigger the entry of Trinidad and Tobago into the carbon trading market. Given our country's heavily industrialized and energy-based economy and that we are already considered a high emitter of carbon dioxide, the carbon sequestration project will certainly go a long way towards our attempts at reducing our carbon footprint. This, along with the reforestation of the Nariva Swamp, will serve as concrete indicators of the Environmental Management Authority's mandate to provide effective leadership in achieving an environmentally healthy community and conserving healthy ecosystems for present and future generations. One of the principal reasons the EMA was set up was to function as a leader in environmental management and environmental protection and conservation. Um, and clearly this, this project falls very, very squarely into that mandate. Given this project's ambitious yet much needed efforts, how will the Environmental Management Authority and other agencies involved measure their success? Well, the ultimate success of this project will be a restored Nariva swamp area. Other 
uh, indicators of success would be a project which is replicated elsewhere in Trinidad and Tobago uh, within the Caribbean and internationally. We are happy that we are part of this project and we want to continue to be part of it.